folks, Marty Smallset here from Guggen Baits. What I've got tied on here is the very famous Bandito Bug um, by Guggen Baits. This is the Black Blue Flake. I've got it on a 3 0 Mustad hook, um, a little glass bead, and a Vike lead weight with a little rubber stopper there. So it's a solid little bait that the weight can't slide or move away. So I'm going to be punching that into these reeds here and um, see if what I can get. I'm fishing it on 12 pound Seagull red label fluorocarbon on my custom pro loose reel on my pesca light jig and texas rod so let's see if we can get a nice big fat bass with this very famous bandito bug and let's see what the hype is all about guys it's very important to follow your bait down on the on your line a lot of the times especially if you're fishing close to structure and you're casting it next to those reeds the bass will pick it up as soon as it, it still falls down to the bottom so when you cast it and have a look at your line you'll see the line has got a like a like a okay can you explain it like a, a straight bend and then as soon as it's on the bottom the line will go and sag down so keep an eye on your line as the bait goes down sometimes you'll see the line making a straight shock like that you know the bass has picked it up or you'll just see the line maybe moving away um, so it's very very important to keep an eye on your line and make sure the bass doesn't pick it up on the drop. You will also determine that way how shallow it is where you are casting. So the faster you see that, that line sagging, the, you know the bait has, has got to the bottom much faster. First fish on the big meter bug. Swing her in. There we go. Not a shabby bass. First bass on a bandito bug for me that. Just short of a well, not even, maybe half a kg. Put it back. Guys, exactly what I just told you there now. As soon as that bait landed the water, I felt the tap. So it wasn't even necessary to check the line. But uh, on that little bandito bug right there. Guys, there you can see the bandito bug. It's got like a ripped little body, which is quite nice. And then it's got those little flappers on the side there, which gives off a lot of vibration. And then there at the bottom, you've got that little ridged tail there, which gives off extra vibration. Obviously, remember when you're fishing it, take those, those uh, pinches apart as well as here on the sides. Just take them apart when you rig it. I'm gonna show you now how to rig this bait. I'm just gonna take those apart there, as well as that little, that's already there. Okay. So you basically just go through the nose a little bit, bring it through, thread it across the eye of the hook, measure it on the bend, there where the bend is, that's where you're gonna go through with your hook point then you know you've got a nice straight hanging bait there we go Guggen baits bandito buck black blue flake little black bead and then the lead weight with a little rubber stopper let's give it another bash Bandito bug does it again, guys. Very, very aggressive. Come on. Oh, good looks at guys. Have a look there in the top jaw. All right, there. That's the mustard hook. Guys, like you see there, I'm swinging in these fish. With 12 pounds fluorocarbon by Seagull, red label, another half kg. Guys, just something I've picked up now. All the fish I caught were really, really tight to the reeds. 
So what I'll do is I'll cast this bandido bug by Guggen Baits right into the reeds. Let it drop, give it one, two, three twitches, no fish, I'll bring it in. I don't see the use in working that bait all the way back to the boat. You're wasting a lot of space and time. In that time you can just work that reeds, fish, 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 nothing, bring it in, cast it again and work the reeds like that. Fishing this piece between the boat and the, and the reeds, I feel it's, it's pointless right now. On another day it's obviously a different story, but at this stage I'm just fishing the reeds very, very tight. And if there's no bite, I'll just bring it in. I can make another cast. Got a tap right there. Swimming with my bait, Bandito Buck, Guggen Baits, oh that, there we go. Not giants guys, but they're chowing eh. If this was a competition I would have had limit long time ago. Bandito Buck does it again. 